Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Why gold prices go up and down. A new series. The first part in this series, we're going to discuss four different periods of price movement. Let's explore. More specifically, we're going to look at the period of gold from when it was become available and legal to own again in the United States, starting in 1975 all the way up through 2020. There's four different periods we're going to look at, very distinct from a, from a source of an article I read recently that really talks about how the market moves and how very interesting this is to see how this has been really divided into these four different sections um, and it makes makes a lot of sense you know the more we understand um, why gold moves up and down in price the better off we'll be and the less disappointed we'll be when we see some of the volatility that we've seen in the metal in the past years and nonetheless uh, the price of, of gold as you know has reached a nominal high of over two thousand and seventy dollars over the course of the past year, but it's risen a lot from under $200 uh, since and back in the mid to late 70s here. Very interesting indeed. Um, you know, gold has been a metal that um, has perplexed mankind and has mesmerized mankind for millennia. And uh, we know that in the end, gold will uh, preserve us. It'll protect our wealth. Um, and sometimes it takes a while for that to occur, especially when you look into uh, the chart of, of gold prices over the past, um, since 1975. And we're going to look at this, the first longest running period in, the, in this uh, uh, chart movement here for the prices is what's known, according to this article, as the long moderation. And basically it ran from January of 1975 to February of 2005 and it went up and down but always kind of reverted to a mean average of around $400 per ounce. Now obviously you will say well what about in 1979 and 1980 when it got up to about $820 an ounce which by the way adjusted for inflation is is, is higher than the nominal high we saw over the past year. Um, and it could be explained by, you know, the Hunt brothers cornering the silver market may have had something to do with it, but it also could be explained in a surge in crude oil prices and inflation over the same period, uh, which essentially happened after the Iranian revolution. And uh, both crude oil and gold eased back down subsequently. And remember, in 1973 um, was when we, the dollar moved to the what's known as the petrodollar. In other words, uh, energy will be traded uh, utilizing only exchange in dollars. And that essentially set uh, the dollar up to be the world's reserve currency. And of course, that really didn't um, come into uh, a stable type of scenario or situation until after that crisis there in 1978 through 1980. And we saw the price of gold just uh, rocket upwards during that time momentum. But after that, you know, with lows of where gold was essentially just above $100 an ounce before 1977, the stabilization over that period of time, I would almost break it into another, a fifth category after that is when you saw that moderation where the average price was trading around $400 an ounce. Um, but we did see it dip down between 1998 into 2003 of under $300 an ounce on average. And of course, the September 11th attacks barely had much effect on a gold during that time, amazingly enough. <clears throat> and uh, the period from February 2005 to August 2011 saw a pronounced increase in price. Um, and it was a decrease over the second half of 2008 during the global financial crisis that we saw. It was the one exception. 
it spans the so-called um, the 2005 and 8 boom when commodity prices had increased across the board. You've heard me talk about increase uh, commodities in relation to gold, silver, and platinum recently, but it was only that third boom since the 1950s of this. So that period is known as the commodity boom. And it could be the explanation for the price movement during that period could be greater demand from emerging economies such as China and India, as well as flow of investor money into commodity indices. And so we did see that very stable and steady rise from 2005 up to 2011. But it's really only until around uh, the end uh, or the mid-late summer of 2011 we saw that big spike a uh, dramatic move upwards, but it was following a trend line that was already bullish uh, during that time for sure. Then next we see the slide back down. And this is the period well, where really the YouTube uh, precious metals community started to form, especially during this period, although we had started to see it before. Um, and I've started paying attention to this community um, what level it was back in 2008. But nonetheless, looking here, we see that from August 2011 through September 2018, gold fell. Um, and basically, it went from about 1870 down to 1050 on average for the low of uh, December of 2015. So we never really saw it go back below $1,000 an ounce, but I remember those days quite well for sure. Uh, fascinating indeed to see uh, that movement of the prices uh, and how they have be it become an opportunity. But I had some people wondering what's going on here. Why is this occurring? Um, for some, it came as no surprise from the previous period's run-up was essentially a bubble. From 2016, gold began tracking a mean level of around $1,200 an ounce. And that's where it eventually had ended up by September of 2018. And so it was kind of the slide down period or maybe a, a correction, but it slid into that correction gently, really essentially over that course and then during that time. Uh, and now we are in a period from 2018 till now as the fourth and final era or, or period of the gold of the modern gold era. And that is new momentum and boy, that is, in a sense, an understatement. Um, it's been going up again, but it's been going up even before the pandemic. An increase since the beginning of 2020 is part of a longer upward trend. In other words, it should not be attributed only to the COVID-19 pandemic. Because we have seen this happen before. Uh, the prices were already on, on, on that trajectory upwards um, before the pandemic hit. And uh, the currently... The price remains above the 2020 average, um, but of course we did see it um, rise way up to $2,070, um, and uh, interesting indeed. And uh, this could be this rise we're seeing. You one may say, "Well, are we ready for another slide back down period?" Uh, my guess is it may take a while for that to happen, but if we do see it really spike up in the year, like I think most of us think it will, then I believe we will see a, probably a corrective period, but it may not be as long. Um, we are really in a new age, I think, right now. And I think this epoch, essentially, with that being said, if you want to, because it does seem like it's taking, lasting a long time, but we have pre-COVID and post-COVID. And the post-COVID is going to be a very blurry uh, line, I believe because we're going to be dealing with this pandemic in one way or another for quite a while. And, uh, and the reaction to it and the economic fallout from it, I think, is going to be with us for a while, too. But gold is, is an interesting metal. It is the most stable, I believe, not only chemically, uh, but also in price structure of most of the other precious metals out there. So I think it's a, quite a fascinating thing to be able to... Um, uh, analyze this and talk about these different periods and uh, so that's it that's a fascinating dive into where the where the uh, gold uh, price has been how it's been performing since 1975 to 2020 in these different periods 
what will the period be like um, in the 2021 through 2025? I don't know. It, will that momentum continue? Are we in the midst of the fourth period? Um, we'll find out. We shall see. Uh, but nonetheless, this ends part one of a series here on, on why gold prices go up and down. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Why do gold prices go up and down? A new series we're going to be doing in this 